this is something I'm very excited about. This is just not another hypercar. This is about how to build a hypercar, about new manufacturing, new technology, the new way cars will be built. Back in the early 1900s, the assembly line made building cars fast and efficient. Then computer technology radically evolved the automobile industry by expanding innovation, streamlining production, and improving accuracy in manufacturing. Now divergent technologies in Southern California is significantly transforming the way cars are made yet again, turning car manufacturing as we know it on its ear. With major car companies knocking down their doors, Divergent is pioneering new production methods and launching us into the future of car engineering. It's really an automotive revolution. This is Kevin Zinger and his son, Lucas. Hi, Jay. Good to see you. Good to see you. Kevin is a blue-collar kid from Cleveland, right? Worked on cars your whole life. Always dreamed Absolutely. of building his own hypercar. This is big-time manufacturing. It's really sophisticated. It's literally a 3D-printed car. Correct. The entire vehicle is designed here, and that entire powertrain between the electric motors and the V8 are printed and integrated into the structure using a digital system. All right, let's start with the eye candy first. The 2023 Zinger 21C marks a new era in the car business. With a 2.8-liter V8 engine, its hybrid powertrain is fully printed from data designed by Divergent's proprietary optimization software. The original materials make this car's component light, precise, and extremely strong. This car represents the peak of human collaboration with artificial intelligence. Therefore, this supercomputing achievement with 950 horsepower is valued at $2 million. We met about seven years ago uh, Kevin Correct. had a car called the Blade that was a first generation. And we road tested it in my garage, and I was fascinated by it and the technology. It's a little loud in this thing. It is, there's no insulation on this car. I, I, I know, but it's a lot of fun to drive. And this is what happens when you do your homework and you show up seven years later and you see the finished product. I wanted to build a car that not only was the world's fastest production car, I wanted to have a small, very high performance, power to weight motor that gave you that performance, but did it in an exciting, visceral way. I think all manufacturers will be latching on to very soon. I mean, you're already doing work for OEMs right now, correct? For eight major OEM brands, we have programs that are going into production with the first of these vehicles going to be announced uh, in a few months. Okay. And vehicles on the road this year using this digital manufacturing technology, Jay. Well, let's take a look at the engine right now. So what we have here is the world's most power-dense production engine. Way in the back there is that small displacement V8. Right. In the front, you see a fully printed exhaust system, and on either side of the block are twin turbo setup. But this is really the trick part, isn't it? Yes, so we've actually developed the algorithms that have designed this part, and this part is perfectly efficient to the loads it is taking. And that is much, much lighter than a conventional cast part, and that allows you to manufacture those efficient designs. So this is what happens when hot riders go to college. This is basically... <laughs> Kevin and Lucas showed me their 3D printing chamber where each car part is made much like a tiered cake. These lasers are melting Divergent's original alloy powder and it will be one of the many layers of a car part structure. A succession of these layers will melt on top of each other to create a fully 3D printed automobile part, just like one of the 14 printed pieces that make up the engine's rear subframe. You can think of each of these pieces as individual Lego blocks. This is an alloy that you guys have developed. Correct. It's about 90% aluminum, and then 10% our secret sauce of other elements secret that sauce. we've doped. It's, yeah, yeah. Now, what do we have here? This is the most complex-looking brake caliper I've ever seen. This is the next stage in the evolution of car manufacturing. Right. This isn't only a brake caliper. Right. This is actually the upright, the hub of the suspension system. Okay. Known as the brake node, this remarkable piece integrates a braking system and a suspension system all in one. Divergent Software has figured out how to integrate traditional car parts to operate cohesively as one unit. A gearbox that holds a brake caliper, rotors, six pistons and seals, and a heat exchanger, and more. That's functional integration. That's what is really the next stage of what we're doing. And what makes me feel good is 
Here's a bleeder screw. I can actually bleed these brakes if I want to. Because all of the hydraulics are printed right okay. into it. Oh, well, that's pretty amazing. It's pretty cool. It almost looks as if this was melted on over, you know what I mean? It's like when you go to a Disney haunted house, it has this look to it, you know? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very scientific, by the way, the Disney haunted house. Jay, this is our automated vertical assembly cell. So right. once the parts are printed, this is where they go to be assembled into a final structure. Wow. So this cell is replacing the modern day automotive line. Pretty amazing, guys. Thank you so much. We just learned all about how 3D printing technology is changing car manufacturing. Now it's time for the fun part. Here we go. The drive. I'll be the first person outside the company to ever drive it. So all eyes are on me with founder and CEO Kevin Zinger in the back. No pressure there. Let's do it. Rock and roll. It does feel like you're in a fighter plane. The whole cockpit feel. Now this just reaffirms why the center driving is the best position. You always know where the car is. When you do a car like this and you take it out to the track and you find out, I don't know, maybe suspension geometry is wrong or something's just not there, how long does it take you to make a change? Literally, you can generate a new design in hours around your new data, and then you can print and assemble that in hours as well. And that's actually manufacturing the parts and everything, isn't it? That's correct. Well, that's amazing. Every time you think you're going too fast, you realize, oh no, you can go a lot faster. And this regen is great. You hit this button and, yeah! Here we go! Yeah! I mean, the brake pressure is just perfect. You know exactly where you are. You never feel as if you're going to overshoot anything because the brakes will always catch you. This thing literally feels unbreakable. That's the genius of 3D printing. It's really amazing. You've just managed to achieve an amazing thing here. And to build your dream and make your car in America using American parts and American technology, it's very exciting. Thank you very much. It is a dream come true. Thanks so much, Jay. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more clips, previews, and compilations of things we've done on the show. So check it out.